Hi guys! So today I'm going to be doing a book review of The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filler. I have heard a lot of things about this book but I didn't really know much about it. I just heard that it was really good and I saw it on Book Depository one day and it was like on sale and the cover was just so gorgeous that I just had to buy it and I did and it's gonna be sitting on my shelf for a little while and I was like yeah let's read this and so I wanted to read it. I jumped in the book knowing only what was said on the blurb which was this. I'll tell you what happened because it would be a good way to introduce my brother. His name is Simon. I think you're going to like him. I really do. But in a couple of pages he'll be dead. And he was never the same after that. The blurb just sounded really intriguing to me so I jumped into it and oh my gosh this book was beautiful and heartbreaking and heartwarming and sad and just it was utterly fantastic and moving and I just I loved it. So let me tell you a little bit more about what this book is actually about. This book follows a young boy named Matthew and his brother obviously dies. His brother had Down syndrome along with a few other things and then one night something happens. Matthew was there on the night that Simon died and we just know that something happened and that Matthew hugely blames himself for Simon's death. They're only very young children and then it kind of follows Matthew throughout his life growing up without his brother. It follows his parents in the way that they dealt with Simon's death and the way that they dealt with Matthew. It also has snippets back to when Simon was alive and he was just the most caring, just beautiful character with a beautiful soul who I just absolutely love Simon. Honestly, he was just gorgeous. I really liked Matthew too. He definitely had his faults as all characters in humans do, but that didn't make him any left really warm-hearted and relatable to. Matthew's struggling a lot in life and he's kind of put in and out of mental hospitals and everything and it's just basically about him trying to tell his story of his life and his brother and what happened and how he's been dealing with it. It's a gorgeous book and it deals with a array of issues including disabilities, Down syndrome, a lot of mental health issues, depression, schizophrenia, like there is a lot going in here but it's never too overwhelming or it's never unrealistic in the way that it talks about them. It's also very real and just raw as well. Some of the books that deal with such issues like these aren't done very well or they don't seem very realistic but this one for me just seemed really realistic and it was really raw and I really enjoyed that. Obviously they're not easy issues to read about but I felt like the way that these books portrayed them and told them did it in a really good way. It also didn't romanticize the issues at all. I kind of loved everything about this book. Like the cover is just the tip of the iceberg of how much I loved it. The cover is beautiful, the characters are beautiful and emotional and complex and real and at some times you just want to slap them and at other times you just want to hug them. The plot and the storyline is raw and intense and moving and heartwarming and sad all at the same time. Sometimes it's even funny. It's basically a book about life and dealing with loss and dealing with life after that and how you, if at all, how you can recover from it. I absolutely loved this book. It just made me feel all the feels and I just, I want to reread it honestly. I'm not going to. Not yet. I do reread most of my books but I'm not going to reread it straight away. But I will definitely be reading this hopefully next year. I'm rating it a 5 out of 5 stars. It's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and if it sounds at any way at all interesting to you I would highly 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 recommend you check it out I really hope you enjoy it and it means as much as it does to you as it did to me so yeah let me know in the comments below if you have read the shock of the fall and what you thought of it like this video if you liked it subscribe if you'd like to see more book related videos from me and I'll see you next time okay bye